Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to my next review. And before I get started, I know I keep saying this in many reviews. I've just been so busy, a lot going on. I do apologize for how rare my videos have been coming out. Um, I know it's not up to how often I used to, but things have been really rather crazy and busy late for a while here now uh i do want to apologize for those who have commented that i have not um responded to your comments i do see them i am grateful for your comments and i'm glad um especially the ones that show the um the proper way of transforming um prime universe skyquake you know i'm so glad that is helping people out i'm really happy for that video um Mine's not the first one to come out about that. I have linked in there the one that I saw. I think he was the first one to put out a video about that. Um, but I was happy to make my own for those that don't come, wouldn't come across his. But I did provide the link so he could get people viewing his, showing off how he figured it out. And his video was how I figured it out. Which I did explain in my video. But I do see your comments. I do appreciate them. I am I, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for following. Thank you for sticking around. Even though I have sort of been um, very seldom uh, on getting my reviews out. But I am trying to work on doing better on that. So, with that out of the way, let's get started. Today we're looking at the third Amazon exclusive Legacy Evolution figures and this is again a two pack and it is a Centicon Cascade and Senate Guard Javelin and we'll take a look at the packaging and it's also called the Dead Eye Duel two pack so very cool and I love the way they did this packaging so here you can see the front great artwork Showing Cascade and Javelin. It's a Versus. Got a little lightning here. Legacy Evolution. Both of them are Deluxe class. They are um, not really remolds. Just uh, the same repaints but with different heads. Uh, Javelin is a repaint with a new head of Bumblebee Movie Studio Series RC. And Cascade is a repaint with a new head of, oh, I'm forgetting her name, uh, Siege figure, um, Chromia, I believe it is. But still, it works. They're both Cybertron vehicles. They look great. And yeah. But what's so cool about this is the way this package opens. <laughs> like, I thought this was so cool that they did it this way. So here's, yeah. I have not seen them do packaging like that before. I like it. But there's the front. Here's the top. Dead Eye Dual 2 pack. Here's the bottom. Barcode words and things. Here's the side. You can see Cascade's arm and part of the rest of her body. On this side, we have our Legacy Evolution artwork, or half of the Legacy Evolution artwork. And on the back, our product shots. Looks amazing. Warning, don't eat anything in here in multiple languages. And, of course, they are versus, but they are snipers. So I really love that. Like, they, I'm going to put them with my two, the first two, um, the, the Rat Bat Megatron and the, well, the Senator Rat Bat Megatron and the Senator Shockwave and Orion Pax, which, of course, she'll be on the side with the, Senator Shockwave and Ryan Pax, and she'll be on the side with Megatron and Senator Ratbat. Just sort of, uh, I think, works that way because I have not read IDW um, for how far they got into it with with these guys, but I'm guessing I think Ascenticon is what they were calling themselves before they went to Decepticon, I believe. So, yeah. So that's it for the packaging. Again, very cool. Absolutely love it, and we shall start with Cascade. And here you can see 
show off her gun, which is another sniper rifle, or is a sniper rifle. It does come in a few different pieces, so there's all these pieces. Just put it all together, and boom, and there you go. Again, very nice. Really do like that. Looks great. Looks like it was possibly molded in this light blue and then painted. I think this is just molded like darker blue to purplish plastic. So again, very cool. And of course, here's Cascade. And yeah, you can see it's just a repaint of Chromia. Still looks good. Here's the front. Got some silver sort of there. It's it's very light. Like, unless the like if you have it at an angle, you can't really see it because it just it blends in so well. A nice sort of pinkish on the top here, then on the back, and then there's these, which come off. And they're like little grenade type things so again very cool on that I'll take them off for now there's the back you can see the visible hands there's this side same as the other side and there's the bottom you can see how a lot of that folds up and it's nice silver on the wheel there and does roll as she should it, very cool and then you can see like on the inside of that so it all works some nice detail molded in as usual i mean if you've seen the chromia review then you know exactly how it goes um, still very nice i think this works but let's get into transforming her shall we so just like with chromia i'm not really going to go over it too much because um, I did do a Chromia review when I did my Siege figures. But untab, bring it up. Untab, bring it up. You can bring the fists out if you want. There's that. And then we're going to open up the wheels here. And there's that. Now, want to untab all of this section. So we're bring it up. Then we shall rotate all of this around if you can whoops and this is an issue that I have with is this keeps popping off you also kind of got to have it at a specific spot but there's that so the rut rotated around now what I want to do is fold this in now, before we bring that up all the way want to bring the head out and that's just gonna Go right there, rotate the head. Now we can bring this up the rest of the way. It should come up the rest of the way. Unless, oh, no, nope. bring it up like this. There we go. And then you sort of want to just like bring all this together, get it in. Then these are going to tab into the sides of that. So with that done, you can bring her hands down, split her legs, you want to rotate this up like that, rotate the foot down, rotate this piece up, rotate the foot down, and pretty much there we go. There is Cascade in a robot mode, and she looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. It is a good use of this mold. Um, I know this mold was used a lot, or a good amount, uh, a couple of years ago. But, you know, it's been a while since we've really seen this mold used. And it works. I mean, they, they needed it to be a Cybertronian mode. And that's exactly what they did. So, let's get in and look at detailing so there's her head again love the little eye um there sort of replaced her normal eye painted with like an orangish yellow pink for her face 
sort of a multicolored blue for her head, which looks like it goes. I don't know. I think that's just the shading. It's all the same. It's just the way the shadow is hitting it. So very cool on on the way it does that. The paint they're using. I like that. And then her arms, upper body, lower body. Again, very cool. Really nice. Um, articulation, head, is on a ball joint, can rotate, can look up, can look down, and bit of wiggle. Arms only come out about that far. Do full rotation, except this backpack gets in the way. Bicep swivel, and around 90, just under 90 for the elbow, looks like. Yeah, around 90. Nothing at the wrist except for that transformation joint in. There is a waist, but you have to unplug everything. So unfortunately, when you got the backpack plugged in, the waist ends up becoming useless. So, yeah. Uh, legs, kick forward, only about that far. Kick back, only about that far. Kick out, about that far. Thigh, and we move that out of the way we can get 90 on the knee so, and foot can move up and down and we have major ankle tiltage so not the best but again not the worst so yeah and of course can take weapons so these they don't hold in very well. I kind of wish there was a better way of doing this, but these just sort of plug it in. Yeah, they're very, very loose. But they just sort of plug in, or they that's what the instructions show. Ken, of course, I think it's this one. I don't know. Ken, of course, hold it kind of with that same peg if you want. But, yeah, the way they show it, and you can have it either way. You can have it like this. Or you can have it like this. I kind of personally like to have it like this. But yeah, they're just way too loose. Like, I wish there was a better way that they plugged on. Because they can fall off really easily. And that would be a bummer. So, yeah. And of course, the backpack can be pretty heavy. Then we'll give her her sniper. Yeah, see. <laughs> they fell off when she fell. And she can hold her sniper straight out. Can kind of do something like this if you want. Or you can do something, you know, sort of like this. I mean, really up to you. Yeah. So that's going to be it for Cascade. <coughs> Pardon me. Now we will take a look at Javelin. And here we have Javelin. So remove this weapon and take a look. And this comes in yeah, three pieces. So got this piece and just plugs in right here. And then this piece which just tabs in yeah tabs in right there Let me bring me back down so you can see what I'm doing but yeah and they they will be separated into three pieces when you get them in the packaging but still looks really good very nice definitely a better designed sniper rifle than the one that Cascade has um, really really good paint sort of a bronzish bronzish gold kind of color but works very nicely and here we have javelin their cybertronian vehicle mode and it is actually this one is more than just a repaint there's extensive remolding so if i remember because i do not have the bumblebee studio series rc but this is different these pieces are different i think the chest is different 
so as well as the head so this one had a lot more remolding compared to cascade like i think cascade the chest might be different i'd have to look at my chromia um she's sort of buried right now but still very cool here you can see the side there's the front there's the back here's the other side bottom you can see her hands visible and she rolls pretty nicely and the way she rolls is like the inner parts of these front wheels spin and you got little wheels here that spin but yeah it's a nice blue got uh, baby blue for the windshield some pink like uh, somewhat brighter pink than cascade had i think but yeah not bad not bad at all well it is a pretty decent use of the mold in my personal opinion a little bit of a darker blue here and here so yeah so that's going to be it for her vehicle mode so let's get to transforming her and for this what we want to do bring the hands out then we can untab these side pieces and they tab in the hand the arms as well as what will be the legs right here we'll just bring them up for right now same thing with this one just untab that and then we'll untab the chest which got slots right there that tab into the tabs right there so now with that what we'll do is untab this and this has two sets of tabs one set here one set in the back they're going to tab into these slots and these slots so there is all that so with that done move that up we'll rotate at the waist and now what we want to do bring this up and we want to sort of get this all up in a way there we go and I think this is gonna this is where I'm gonna have a hard time here <laughs> there we go this is all going to come out and around like this. Now we can bring this sort of all out like this. Bring this down here. And the issue I'm having with mine is when you plug all of this in on the back side here. This is supposed to tab into here, and it doesn't fully tab. So I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong here. I think part of my problem is with this. This should all... Plug in. Like that. This will come up. I want to rotate and bring this around, sort of like this. And this here. And now for her legs. So, with that, we want to split at the wheels here. We want to take these parts, sort of untab them, and bring them out just a little. Just like that. And now. Use that ankle tilt, bring it up, move this, and you want to get this little section positioned right in here. So when you bring it out, it's going to hold. Then you can bring that all in. Otherwise, if it doesn't, it's going to get in the way of the ankle tilt, which it can be a problem. So same thing on this side, bring it out. Bring it around, get that where it needs to be, and then there we go. I 
And there we have oh, ouch, sorry. There we have Javelin in a robot mode. It looks pretty good. It is not a bad mold at all. Like I do like the reuse of this RC mold. Um, it works very well. Um, it is interesting how like the this they like I wish it would have had two different thoop points, but it is interesting that the way they decided to do that. Still, very cool. Very nice. Really do like that. And, of course, take a look at her close-up. And there is her head. Very nice. Can't really see the eyes. I think it's like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like some kind of a mono eye or something. I am not really sure. But it is a cool look. Um, got the two different blues. The pink. A little bit of yellow there. Silver for her face, a little bit of silver here, that darker blue, the light blue, really light blue here, some pink, more of that silver down here, pink on the kneecaps, and yeah, very cool. Articulation on her, so head can rotate, can look up really only about that far, unless you were to detransform it can look down quite a bit a little bit of wiggle arms come out that far can do full 360 but as with cascade backpack gets in the way got thigh rotation 90 for well actually no i forgot about this so it's actually a double joint so you can get full so very cool on that really do like that we got waist well nothing at the hands except for this transformation uh, legs kick forward only about that far kick back that far uh, full van dam got thigh well didn't mean to push that in it is easy to push that back in but we've got 94 knee uh, with this this can actually help you to move that foot into any position that you want and we have full ankle pivot so pretty good pretty good and of course she can hold her gun just plug that in she can aim it or one thing that I kind of like to do is sort of have her. Uh, come on. It sort of requires a little bit of both of these. There we go. Sort of holding it, you know, in a ready position in a way, which I think works. I think it works very well. But yeah, so there we have Javelin, and here we have Cascade. Again, both very good figures. I really do recommend this set. I like it. It's a great addition if to like your IDW characters, because um, they were in the IDW comics, if I remember correctly, from what I've seen explained. said I have not read them. I unfortunately was unable to obtain the comic books for a while so i missed out on a lot but otherwise great figures if you want to expand your idw um characters definitely recommend that so yeah um again these are an amazon exclusive of course they were on hasbro pulse they might still be um they might still be available on amazon so check there check hasbro pulse and should be able to find them so that is going to be it for me so again thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later